Hoffman Kodak Company is happy to bring you America's favorite family, the Nelsons, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. They enjoy good times together. And like most of us, they enjoy good times over again in pictures. Now come the days of warm, bright sun. Carefree, happy days. These are days to enjoy again. Days to save in pictures. There'll be times like this in another year, but they won't be quite the same. For a little girl meets a dancing wave for the first time, only once. And a proud young man brings his own catch home for the first time, only once. A boy meets a girl on a summer day for the first time, only once. And no other days will be quite the same in all the weeks to come. These are the days of family loves, days to save in pictures. Plan now to save your good times in pictures. Ask for Kodak film in the familiar Kodak box. And now Kodak invites you to enjoy the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Well, hi, Joe. Come on in. Hi, Oz. I was wondering if I could borrow a suitcase. Sure. Come on upstairs. Good. Oh, hi, Harriet. Hi, Joe. I understand you and Claire are going up the lake tomorrow. Yeah, I'm afraid so. I said I could borrow a suitcase. Sure, come on. Hope you don't mind. No, of course not. You don't sound very enthusiastic about the trip. Well, ordinarily it'd be a lot of fun, but I just got word from the office I have to leave Sunday night on a business trip. Oh, it's a shame. We'll just get back from the lake and have to take off again. Well, why don't you just postpone the trip up the lake? Well, these friends of ours invited us up there, and we can't very well cancel out at the last minute. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, you'll probably have a good time. Oh, yeah, we'll live through it. Is Clara going on a business trip with you? Yeah, I thought I'd take her along. She deserves a little vacation, a change of scenery. At least that's what she told me. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, get super. Okay. Is this big enough? Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's kind of beat up. <laughs> Are you complaining? <laughs> no, no, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, what else do you need? Yeah, let's see now. Do you have a travel clock? Oh, I think we have one right over here. There we are. Oh, thanks, Oz. Uh, how about a camera? You want to take some pictures? Well, no, thanks, Oz. I have the camera that Clara gave me for my birthday. Oh. Hey, these are nice cufflinks. Uh, yeah, Harriet gave me those for Christmas. I think it was last year. Oh, say, uh... Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, suitcase, travel clock, cufflinks. Oh, I need a padlock. I need a padlock for? I want to lock my garage when I go. You know how guys will come around borrowing stuff? Oh, I, I sure do. <laughs> I think I got them in the garage. In here someplace. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, that'll do fine. Thanks, Oz. Well, and don't lose the key. It's the only one I've got. Okay, well, that just about does it, except for a couple of eggs. A couple of eggs? Well, yeah, for breakfast in the morning. We don't want to buy a whole dozen when we're going away. We'll eat out. That's all I'll be doing for the next two weeks. Look, all I want is a couple of eggs. Okay. <laughs> what happened? The fish hooks in there. Oh, well, no thanks, Oz. I have plenty of fish hooks. <laughs> I put in four eggs. Oh, gee, thanks a million, Harriet. We'll repay you when we get back. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, no, no, no just a second. Those things add up. Oh, don't be silly. No, I, I mean, no, let, let's figure this out here. Uh, four eggs, and last week Clara borrowed a cup of sugar. Well, let's say at the very minimum you borrow one egg and one cup of sugar a month. Now, we've known you for 20 years. It makes it well, uh, 20 dozen eggs at about 60 cents a dozen. And, uh, well, let's say a couple of hundred pounds of sugar at, uh, uh, what's sugar going for now? Don't ask me. I haven't bought any in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, look, Oz, if you'd rather I didn't borrow all this stuff. Oh, don't pay any attention to him. Oh, I never do. <laughs> well, have fun up at the lake and on the trip in case we don't see you. Thanks, Harriet. So long. Bye-bye, Joe. So long, Oz. So long, you moocher. <laughs> How about that guy? You're a little rough on him, weren't you? Yeah, well. 
let's face it, he is over here borrowing things all the time. Oh, it isn't that bad. Hey, wait a second. You going someplace? Well, yeah. I thought I'd go and see what was on television. Why? Well, before you do that, would you get out the market for me? All the way down the market? What, what for? We need some eggs for breakfast. <laughs> Anybody? I'll have some more. Thanks, Mom. Ozzy? Uh, uh, no, thanks. I want to get out of here. Where are you going? Well, I, I thought I'd play some golf this morning. What about the lawn? Lawn? What lawn? Our lawn, the one that needs mowing, front and back. Oh! <laughs> that lawn. When are you going to break down and get one of those power lawnmowers, Pop? Well, it isn't a question of breaking down. I, I kind of like our old lawnmower. It's good exercise pushing it around. I enjoy it. Besides, it's David's turn. <laughs> no, it isn't. I mowed it last week. And I mowed it the week before. Shall I tell you who mowed it the week before that? <laughs> You're all going to get so excited about it, I'll mow it right now. Bet you never had any intention of playing golf. Well, sure I did. You'd have forgotten about the lawn. <laughs> hey, aren't you going to get started on the lawn pretty soon? Well, this is ridiculous, but I can't find the lawnmower. Oh, come on, you can think of a better excuse than that. Well, no, honestly, I can't find it any place. Can't find what, Pop? Well, our lawnmower. You don't happen to know where it is, do you, Dave? Well, uh, Mr. Randolph borrowed it last Sunday. Didn't he return it? Evidently not. Oh, God, he borrows everything we've got and never brings anything back. Go over and get it. They aren't home. Well, uh, that doesn't make any difference. I can still get my lawnmower. You want me to get it for you, Pop? Oh, uh, that's okay. I'll get it, Dave. You know, what really burns me up is that guy's probably up at the lake fishing right now. Not a care in the world. Now, I could have a notion to jump in the car and drive up there and tell him what I think of him. Oh, no, you don't. You're going to stay right here and mow the lawn. Oh. <laughs> Get the lawnmower? No, oh, the garage was locked. Doggone that Joe Randolph, he not only borrows my lawnmower and locks it in his garage, but he comes over here and borrows my padlock to lock it with. Is that again? Well, he, he borrowed my padlock last night. That's pretty funny. Oh, that all depends on how you look at it. If I don't catch up with him before he leaves on that business trip, I won't be able to get my lawnmower for two weeks. Why don't you saw the lock off? Oh, I, I can't do that. Well, why not? It's your lock. That's right. Where's the hacksaw? It's supposed to be on this board here. You know how it is, nothing's ever where it's supposed to be. Round here someplace. The trouble with a hacksaw, you don't use it often enough to remember where you put it. Oh, maybe it's in this box of junk here. Hey, look out for the... Fish hooks. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Hey, what are you guys doing? We we're looking for the hacksaw. Do you know where it is? Well, I think Mr. Randolph borrowed it a couple of weeks ago. It figures. It's probably in his garage. Well, there's no doubt about that. It's locked in his garage with my padlock. Well, if it's your padlock, why don't you just saw it off? I see what you mean. <laughs> Get the lawnmower? Oh, that darn Joe, he locked it in his garage. Well, it's your lock, why don't you just saw it off? <laughs> Well, that's pretty funny. <laughs> What's the matter with your father? It's a long story, and pretty funny, too. <laughs> Who are you calling, Pop? Oh, uh, Mr. Darby. I guess he's not home. I was going to borrow his hacksaw. Well, why don't you just borrow his lawnmower? Hey, you know, that's an idea. The only thing, though, he's not home. Well, how about Mr. Barton? No, uh, he's out of town. I think I'll call Doc. He has a power mower. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Hello? Uh, uh, hi, Doc. Uh, this is Ozzy. Oh, hi, Oz. How are you doing? Oh, fine. How about you? Okay. What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering if I could borrow your power lawnmower this afternoon. Oh, sure. Well, gee, thanks, Doc. Uh, have you ever run a power mower before? 
Well, no, but it can't be too complicated. Well, no, but you have to know what you're doing. Uh, don't run it too fast. It's still pretty new. Yo, I I'll run it real slow. Well, not too slow. No, that puts a strain on the motor. Well, okay, I'll watch it. Okay. Uh, don't run over any rocks. I just had it sharpened. Oh, and be sure you hose it off good when you're through. You've got all that crabgrass uh, uh, in your lawn. I don't doc. want the seeds to... Uh, look, Doc, uh, maybe I'll just let the lawn go for a while. Well, you're welcome to the mower. Well, I, I know that. Maybe some other time. Say, uh, do you happen to have a hacksaw? Oh, gee, Oz, the mower would be a lot faster than the hacksaw. It, it, it's not for the lawn. I want to saw a lock. Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry. I don't have one. Uh, but Joe does. I saw one in his garage a couple of days ago. Oh, well, that's mine. Well, if it's yours, what do you want to borrow one for? Well, it's a long story, Doc. Uh, uh, thanks anyway. Uh, okay, Oz. I'll see you. How you doing? You having any luck? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. I know where you can get a hacksaw. Where? The hardware store. Oh, you mean buy another one? Well, it's one solution. But I, I already own a hacksaw. I'm not going to buy another one so I can saw open my own lock to get my own hacksaw. And your own lawnmower so you can mow your own lawn. Well, I guess a hacksaw doesn't cost very much. I'll go down and buy another one. You might as well. Boy, the nerve of that guy. Joe? No, Doc. Doc Williams? Yeah, what's he mean our lawn is full of rocks and crabgrass? <laughs> we sure have got some funny neighbors around here. <laughs> Now, the easiest way you've ever seen to put good times in movies can be yours at the lowest cost in Kodak history. Just watch this. Here is a remarkable new electric eye movie camera from Kodak. It's the new Kodak Automatic 8, the lowest priced electric eye movie camera that Kodak has ever made. Less than $50. It has a built-in electric eye that sets the lens automatically for correct exposure. It even warns you when there isn't enough light. All you do is aim and press the button. And whether your subject is in sunlight, like this, or in shade, like this, you get clear, bright movies of all your good times automatically to share for years to come. You'll find the Kodak Automatic 8 movie camera now at your Kodak dealers, where you see this camera land display. Why not visit him this week and see everything that's new for picture taking? It's gonna take all day. Darn Joe Randolph, I hope he falls in the lake. You want me to try it, Pop? No, I'll, I'll do it, thanks. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi, Ricky. Oh, hi, fellas. What are you doing? I'm trying to saw this lock. I thought Mr. Randolph lived here. Well, he does. Where is he? Well, he's not here, he's up at the lake. How come you're trying to break into his garage? Well, we're not trying to break in exactly. See, my lawnmower's in there, and Mr. Randolph went away with the key to my lock. Uh, this is our lock. That's okay. We won't tell anybody. <laughs> Why don't you get a gun and shoot the lock off? I think this will work. If you need any help, just let us know. Okay. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? Don't forget to wipe off your fingerprints. Okay, <laughs> I'll quit now, Pop. Just a couple more darn that Joe Randolph's ought to do it. There we go. Open the door, will you, Rick? I might as well get my old hacksaw while I'm here. There's probably a lot of other stuff that belongs to me, too. Hey, look at this. That's a beauty. I wonder who he borrowed this from. Oh, no, this is brand new. Beautiful power mower. Here's an envelope addressed to you, Pop. Addressed to me? Yes. Aren't you going to open it? Well, gee, do you think I should? Well, why not? You just broke into his garage. <laughs> After all, it, it's addressed to me. this guy. Who's that? 
<laughs> that, that darn Joe Randolph. Listen to this. To my good friend Oz, in appreciation for all the things I've borrowed over the years. Signed, Joe. Gee, how about that? He's giving me this beautiful power mower. What do you think of that? Well, I think it's pretty nice. P pretty nice? It's, it's wonderful. Well, he didn't have to do that just because he's borrowed a, a few things. After all, that's what friends are for. Well, uh, let's take it home and try it out. Oh, we can't do that. We can't let him know I've seen it. It'd ruin the surprise. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I, uh, we'd better leave the garage just the way we found it. Uh, where'd you find this? Uh, right here. Uh, put that back. What about the lock? Oh, uh, look, uh, why don't we uh, get the lock from our garage and bring that over here? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> this is fantastic. I just can't get over it. Yes, it certainly is a wonderful gift. Uh, especially after the way I was kidding him last night. You know about borrowing all those things? Well, maybe that's why he's giving it to you. He has a guilty conscience. Oh, I don't think so. But from now on, anything he wants to borrow, <laughs> let's just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish you could see that power lawnmower. I'd love to see it, and I'd love to see you behind it. When are you going to mow the lawn? Oh, well, I, I might as well wait till he gives me the new lawnmower now. I can't say I blame you. You know, it's funny he didn't give it to me before he went up to the lake. It's just sitting over there in his garage. I could be using it. Say, you don't suppose... Oh, no, I, I, I'm sure he knew I was just kidding him last night. Oh, sure. Darn that... Darn that Joe Randolph. <laughs> yes, be careful. He's only about 75 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> just pulled the cord and it turned right over. Wait, you ought to hear that motor hum. Yeah, it sounds great. You think Mr. Randolph will give it to you tomorrow when he gets back, Pop? Oh, sure. You hope. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. He knows I was only kidding about the borrowing. Besides, he's not the type to hold a grudge. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> Maybe you ought to apologize to him, Pop. Well, why should I apologize? I'm not going to butter him up just because he's going to give me a lawnmower. Well, you're the one that has to mow the lawn. Anybody want some more cake? Uh, yeah, I do, Mom. No, 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 wait, wait a second. How, how much is left? Oh, don't worry. There'll be plenty left to butter up, Joe. <laughs> hi, Dave. Oh, hi, Bob. Am I interrupting anything? No, I was just looking this over. Uh, Dave, uh, every once in a while you come to me and ask if you can borrow five or ten dollars. Yes, sir. And sometimes I give you a little lecture about always borrowing and, and things of that sort. Yes, sir. Well, uh, when I do that, uh, that doesn't make you mad at me or anything, does it? Oh, no. As long as I get the money. <laughs> uh, sometimes I have a tendency to get carried away, but I, I really don't mean it. Oh, I understand, Pop. Uh, of course, I'm not Mr. Randolph. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't understand it. They should be back by now. Well, they'll be along. I hope I don't miss them. Joe's got to leave right away on the business trip. Well, he'll be back again two weeks. <laughs> Harry, I'm not going to wait another two weeks to mow the lawn. You're darn right you're not. <laughs> That guy's ever been on time for anything in his life. Who's this, Oz? Oh, hi, Hi, Clara. Uh, when'd you get here? Just now. Where were you? Oh, I, I, I was out front. Oh, it's, it's nice to have you back. Oh, thanks, Oz. Uh, uh, how was the trip? Oh, wonderful. We're glad we went. Oh, uh, uh, how was the fishing up at the lawnmower? Uh, <laughs> uh, how was the fishing up at the lake? Oh, terrible. I didn't catch one fish. I thought it was wonderful. I hate to clean those darn things. I know Can I help mean. you, Harry? Yes, dear. You want to get some cake, please? 
Uh, oh, uh, uh, Harriet baked a cake last night, and we saved a big piece for you. Oh, gee, thanks, Art. Uh, sit down. Uh, I know you like surprises the same as I do. Oh, I sure do. There we are. Well, how about me? Oh, I'm sorry, Clara. <laughs> <stop, Byron. laughs> I figured you might be on a diet. <laughs> There we are. Well, I guess maybe I am on a diet. Oh, well, there's plenty more. Gee, this looks great. Uh, well, you taste it. Hey, uh, how would you like some ice cream on that? Sounds good. Uh, Harriet, uh, would you get some ice cream for Joe, please? Thought it'd be kind of a nice surprise. Oh, speaking of surprises, I have one for you, too. Did, Harry, did you hear that? Joe's got a surprise for me over in his garage. It's over in my garage. Uh, th that's what I said. Well, uh, let's go and get it right now. Well, let me eat my cake Well, first. you can eat it on the way. Here. Fingers were made before forks. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Hey, wait a minute. You forgot your ice cream. <laughs> You loan me. The key won't even fit in it. I'm sorry. Gave the wrong key. Hey, how come that key worked before? Who <laughs> cares? Come on, open the door. Okay, okay. <laughs> Well, where is it? Don't rush me, Oz. I want to do this right. <laughs> yeah, I had a card around here somewhere. Right there in the word. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> here you are, Oz. Oh, <laughs> you really haven't borrowed this much. You haven't read the card yet. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> to my good friend Oz, in appreciation for all the things I've borrowed throughout the years. <laughs> you really haven't borrowed this much. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> A uh, power more. Yeah. You like it, Oz? Oh, it's beautiful. Clara gave it to me last week. <laughs> Clara gave it to me so I wouldn't have to keep borrowing that beat-up old lawnmower of yours. You really ought to get it sharpened, Oz. Uh, Clara uh, gave this to you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Surprise. <laughs> It's a brand new hacksaw. A surprise gift from me to you. <laughs> to replace that old hacksaw of yours I was always borrowing. Oh, well, gee, uh, thanks. That's okay, Oz. I know how you like surprises. Oh, oh, yeah, this is, this is uh, 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 quite a surprise. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Joe. Oh, that's okay, Oz. Say, here, uh, let me show you how it works. Oh. Don't tell me I can guess. You ought to have that thing sharpened. Well, it's not just a lawnmower, Harry. It's the whole idea. Here, I went over there expecting to get a power mower, and all I wind up with is another hacksaw. Well, that's not Joe's fault. He meant well. Well, I, I know that, but, well, who needs three hacksaws? Where is the one he gave you? Oh, I, I, I guess I, I must have left it in his garage. Well, that wasn't very nice. Well, it, it wasn't intentional. I, I, I just forgot it. <laughs> Great. This just isn't my day. I guess it isn't. Uh, I can't even mow the lawn. Hey, this gives you a good excuse. For what? To borrow Joe's new power mower. Oh, no, Harriet. I, I, I wouldn't want to ask him for it. Hi, Oz. Harriet. Oh, uh, hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. I only have a minute. Claire's got the motor running. Oh, well, uh, Joe, I I'm glad you came over. I, I want to apologize for, for leaving the hacksaw in your garage. Oh, I didn't even know you'd left it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I forgot it. I I I'm awfully sorry. Oh, that's okay. Besides, chances are I'll be borrowing it from you as soon as I get back home. Well, gee, you're certainly welcome to it. Oh, I know that, Oz. And any time you want to borrow my new power mower, you just come over and help yourself. 
Do, do you really mean that? Oh, of course I do. That's what I came over here to tell you. Oh, gee, thanks very much, Joe. Ah, that's okay, Oz. Well, I better get going now. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay. Have a nice time. Thanks, Harriet. Oh, by the way, Oz, when you finish mowing your lawn, would you mind giving mine a little going over? <laughs> so long, so long, Harriet. Bye, Joe. How about that guy? How about that guy is right? There goes about the nicest con man you'll ever meet. <laughs> lawn a little going over. That won't be too bad with a new paramour. No, in fact, it might be a lot of fun. Come on, uh, let's go over and get it. Garage is locked. Well, it's our lock, isn't it? Well, uh, yeah, but Joe kept the key. Let's give you a chance to use your new hacksaw. Well, my new hacksaw is locked in the garage here. Well, then you just have to use your old one. Well, that's in the garage, too. What about the one you just bought? Well, uh, that's locked in there, too. No, I said, what about the one you bought? Uh, I know. I say it's locked. I, I own three hacksaws, and they're all locked in the garage here. Well, you just have to go out and buy another one. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, it's quite a distinction. You'd be the only man in town with four hacksaws. <laughs> Darn that Joe Randolph. How about that? He's gonna break in again. Breaking and entering's a felony. I know it. Do you want to be accessory to a felony? Heck no. Then let's get out of here. <laughs> Next week, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet will be brought to you by The Coca-Cola Company. The inside view of the Nelson's refrigerator is just like yours. Dark when the door is shut. And when it's open, it's just like yours, too. Someone's always after the Coke. Yes, whenever you want to be really refreshed, there's nothing like the cold, crisp taste, the bright and lively lift of Coca-Cola. And when you want more of this real refreshment, there's nothing like king-size Coke. That's because after you pour, you still have lots more. In fact, there's a second big glass for you in a bottle of king-size Coca-Cola. When it comes to king-size refreshment, your biggest value today is king-size Coke. Yeah, like the man says, when you want to be really refreshed, have a Coke. And like Harriet says, have a Coke in king-size. and Harriet are brought to you on film by Eastman Kodak Company, who also present the Ed Sullivan Show on another network. The next time you write to family or friends, send along some snapshots. It's the next best thing to a family visit. Good night. Four human beings somewhere in the world are asking you for help. They don't know you specifically. They couldn't talk with you if they did. But in the international language of human emotions, they're hoping your generosity will respond to their need. They're among millions who are hungry today and every day. Your generosity expressed with one dollar to the Great Care Food Crusade can send them food for a month. The dollar from you delivers the complete package overseas in your name. Remember that hunger hurts and join the Food Crusade Care by sending your contributions to the local care office in your city. This has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.